All right, so today I'm uh, gonna be talking about uh, Dark Souls uh, 1 weapon tier list, and this is PvP yeah, mostly, uh, but I will a uh, little bit talk about PvE because usually PvP weapons are quite uh, useful in PvE as well. So um, let's you know jump in and um, you know I, I, okay I'm gonna give a little bit of background. I played this game for like 2,000 hours. I used to like always host fight clubs like seven years ago. It was like my favorite game. This list like I've been probably like I was meant to do like many years ago, but only now I'm coming back in like to express my love and opinion about all of these weapons from all the fighting that I did. Uh, so yeah. So yeah, let's jump in. And the first one on the list is Astora Straight Sword, which uh, is a really, really bad sword. Like um, it has a split damage. It has some scaling, but uh, you know, uh, in one time in a fight, I backstab a guy, and I did like 150 backstab damage, and that just tells me why it's D. It's just horrible. Like not usable in PvP. It's gonna get out damaged. You know, it has maybe some style points, but overall it's just horrible. Alright, next up is Avelyn. Like this bad boy, this bad boy does damage. Always did. I'm gonna like a little bit lower, lower, uh, lower the volume. Alright, 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 a little bit better. Alright, uh, so Avalyn is just, uh, it shoots 3 bolts, like it can catch your opponent off guard, it's like off amazing offhand weapon, stylistically it looks amazing and you know, that's why I have to give it S rank, it's the best crossbow in my opinion in the game, uh, really fun to use, a little bit uh, heavy on the weight but uh, I cannot give it anything less than C. And next up is Balder Side Sword. Uh, Balder Side Sword, um, from all the swords, is the longest one. It has like this amazing trust attack with phantom range. Uh, with Leer Ring, it works perfectly. You do like sometimes 507 damage on a counter attack. So it's uh, it's uh, it's you know like um, it's a very solid item. It's, you have some fast swings with your normal attacks. So. Uh, as a long sword goes, it's a really strong pick, and I give it a uh, yeah, it's just solid. Uh, Bandit knife, it has bleed, it's very fast, uh, does good backstab damage, uh, is very light. Uh, I used it sometimes as on offhand a backstab weapon next to katana, or like some other weapon, but. Um, <laughs> it's a definite uh, B. It's a, it has its uses for its weight and backstab damage potential and as well bleed. Uh, it's um, it's it's a B tier. It's like it's not bad. It's not bad. And uh, next up is uh, Kirk Sword. Um, I mean, Kirk Sword is decent. It does bleed damage. It looks cool. You can uh, cosplay as Kirk. Uh, but. Uh, it's like a little bit shorter side and damage wise it's like a long sword and um, yeah I got, I got to give it um, B like even C because I feel like a, a, even normal long sword is just uh, better it's just better than kick sword but but that bleed <laughs> by the damage <laughs> by that bleed <laughs> no nah, by that damage yeah, like when uh, banded knives, you know, like at least does good critical damage. Like Kirk knife does, not so much, not so much. Definitely not gonna like uh, see that often. Okay, next up is bastard sword. Uh, bastard sword as a lo long sword, you know, like how is it called? The uh, heavy swords, the great swords. Yeah, bastard sword is just uh, from all the. Like great swords is shortest it has a little bit more damage, but that short range li really like um, kind of makes other ones a little bit better. But uh, yeah, I gotta give it C. I gotta give it you know C like um, as well as uh, like great axe I believe or just an axe. 
uh, if you start with as a bandit you start with this weapon which for PvE it's an amazing weapon and for PvP you can stun lock you can stun lock and it, it's very light it does decent damage so I've, I've won fights with it like I would even prefer it over a great sword uh, it kind of leaves you vulnerable though after an attack so that's one one side so I'm gonna give it as well see because like it's like bandit knife is a good like off weapon like just something <laughs> to have in your back you know for maybe fast attack but band, band knife like it's like a main weapon uh, band attacks you know the main weapon is just yeah just leaves you a little bit vulnerable and you can like just escape stun lock uh, easily with a switch uh, so that's why i have to give it actually just uh, c tier uh, because yeah it's you know bows I, I don't know which one is of the bows but to me most of the bows are like dc tier uh, it's like one trick pony uh, Sometimes it works, but sometimes it's just you get backstab, and uh, I don't like them. So I'm gonna give them D. I'm gonna give great bows a little bit higher position, since they are way more fun. <laughs> but um, uh, Black Knight's Great Axe, Black Knight's Great Axe has amazing move set. Is actually really fast. Uh, looks dope as fuck. You know, like. Uh, and PvP it uh, performs decently, like uh, maybe one of the best uh, Black Knight uh, weapons for PvP, since it does has this like a lot of poise damage, does a lot of fucking does decent damage. Like I cannot say it's over overboard, but uh, and it, uh, you get some cool movesets as well. So I have to give it ES rank because you're bringing the swag points. Uh, unlike Black uh, Knight. Greatsword, uh, which is mm, still brings in the swag points, is very long and has some decent attacks, but uh, yeah, it's just uh, it's just very heavy. It's very heavy to use and damage-wise, I cannot say you do more damage than with a Swihander with the same stats. So. And you cannot buff it as well, uh, so I, I'm gonna I'm give it B. I'm gonna give it just B because there's some great, great like ultra great swords that are just way better and way better, yeah. Okay, so next up, uh, next up, uh, this is Black Knights. How is it called? Uh, I'm trying to actually find it. Black Knights Glaive, uh, Halbert. All right, Halbert. Alright, Black Knight's Halbert is decent, like it's uh, usable, it's a little bit heavy, it does uh, but it does good damage, it has amazing range, uh, it has swag points, uh, so I cannot give it S because, uh, it's, well, you know, I'm very tempted to give it S, you know, because you know, I think, yeah, it's better than uh, BSS, you know, Balder Sword, so... Uh, this one definitely gets S rank for me because of its move move set. It's really amazing capability range and uh, swag point, so it's definitely S tier. And unlike uh, Black Knight uh, Great Sword, which uh, yeah, like uh, uh, like it's C tier, like it's like almost D tier. Like uh, I wanna even put in D tier because it's almost worse than. Uh, like bastard sword but i'm not putting it lower since it does have a little bit of swag points and i used it in pvp pve but it's kind of still bad like i feel like from all the ultra great like just great swords this one one of the worst there's no buffing of it and i don't know why there's two of them <laughs> maybe one is the hacked one and the hacked one is fucking ass but I'm gonna just give them D tier because from great swords claymore there's better options uh, way better options okay the next one is bla black uh, blacksmith's hammer yeah that's blacksmith's hammer or is I think it's blacks blacksmith's giant hammer yeah because this blacksmith's hammer is this one this one from 
This one from Giant and that's from the uh, the Artorius, the Berg slash. Oh man, I played seven years ago. I'm getting like it's like flashback. Uh, names are getting like the Golem boss fight, the the like all the blades on small bridges and like lightning in your face. Right, you you guys you guys get you get you get me. You get me where we're talking about. Uh, so, Blacksmith's Giant Hammer is a decent weapon. It has some uh, intimidation to it and decent range. Uh, split damage is not the best, but uh, I've seen it. I've seen it work. I've seen it as a main weapon. I would choose it over the like just just normal axe because its range is better. And Blacksmith's uh, Hammer, I'm just gonna give you C. It's because it's just a hammer, nothing special, just like this axe. They have the same staggering effects. Uh, uh, but it's an actual mace, and mace are actually like decently strong. So I'm most tempted to give it a B, but I'm still gonna give it C because you need to kill the guy to get it. So even I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it D because you need to kill the guy who upgrades your uh, stuff, and if you do it, you're a monster. So uh, don't do that. Right, broadsword. Broadsword is like a kirk sword. Uh, you know, it has it has at least like a lot of damage, but the range actually like makes you miss a lot. So, right, that's why I'm gonna give it actually broadsword just D because I missed too much. Just like uh, with broken hilt. Broken hilt is just um, well fine if I like. I cannot put broken hilt next to broadsword. Broadsword is at least usable like this, like the clay, like bastards. You know, it's like new. Uh, lame weapons, but okay. Butcher's sword is this the butcher's? I believe this is butcher's sword or whatever that girl, that crazy girl, was using uh, in her swamp lands. Okay, I'm trying to get the name of it because I want to be accurate as much as I can with every name. Okay, I'm, I'm getting too much, of course, actually. Alright, I'm getting so much of course then oh, oh that I'm gonna skip it for now. Uh but you know Matilda Matilda's blade, everybody knows it's like in all the Soul series. <laughs> it's a decent weapon, it's way better than battle axe uh, and it's like chops everybody up really good. Uh, it's fun to use, it's like right click uh Right attack is like really fun to use, so it's definite A, like almost S tier, but uh, S tier uh, I want to leave for more like stronger, more broken items, because this one, this item like Matilda's blade, you know, Butcher's blade, whatever, is like uh, at least like not broken. It's very fair. You got good range, but you got good st stagger, but your backstab is not that good, and. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just not top tier. Uh, Cestus, Cestus, uh, Cestus, Cestus. Uh, you're you're the just uh, you're not that useful and uh, you're boring. Uh, yeah, so you know some people make it work, but their range is just horrible, and you know just fighting it like being dragon form on like other fist weapons so are way better, like claw. That we're gonna see, but now for now it's the trident. This is the trident that uh, gives you an actual buff. So that uh, because of that buff and uh, his damage is not that impressive, but that buff is actually really fun. And I'm gonna give it A just because it has a lot of swag points. Uh, spears are really strong, uh, you know, but this spear is just special and very fun to use and very fun. Uh, just. Uh, to see your uh, opponents, you know, it buffs every mob in the map, and just uh, you can get some funny situations from this one. So, yeah, that's why I'm giving it a definite A tier. Okay, I think this is not Dutch. I might be wrong, but uh, I'm gonna give a no Dutch A. Skitanas are very popular, always been in all of the Soul series. And they are quite effective in PvP, they're fast and uh, they're fun to use. Like, you feel like a ninja, you have some cool movesets. So I'm gonna put Katanas in A, like, because it's a, it's a stable weapon. And Claw, next up is Claw. 
claw is fast and fun and does not do a lot of damage but it's very fun so I'll give it B and you can make it work and uh, you can you know while making it work look very cool so it's a definite B tier okay next up uh, it's the claymore and uh, claymore is makes people cry more so I'm gonna give it a steer because uh, it deserves it it's an amazing weapon it does a lot of damage like it's absolute unit uh, you know he has this trust attacks uh, has amazing reach so I'm gonna give it a steer it's just a very solid solid like pick and just solid fucking item to use <sighs> unlike the club uh, because uh, from all the maces I think this is the worst one like damage wise and everything wise it's just bad I'm just the you don't want to use it uh, composites bow I'm gonna give it C uh, because it's fast it's fast and uh, that's a bon benefit in a PvP uh, because you want those shots to go as fast as possible so I'll give it C it's usable D is unusable or like just claim like Black Knight or just options are way better options than this one. Uh, and C is like, okay, it's usable. And as it goes on, it's like B is like, alright, I'm gonna start doing some damage. And there's your utility. A is like just solid picks. And S is just uh, very solid picks. Just something that uh, you, you see often, you uh, saw maybe often. And it's very, very useful. Okay, the next one is Crescent uh, Halberd. I believe maybe a giant's halberd he has a split damage and uh, as a halberd it's one of the worst halberds not very usable so I'm gonna give it C uh, crystal great sword and crystal sword are bad are just bad not very useful there's way better options they break and yeah they just um, Stylistically as well, not very pleasing, and the uh, uh, crystal gray sword is very short. So using it, it's usually like you're gonna whiff a lot, and yeah. Uh, dagger. Dagger is fine. It's very light. Uh, it's a nice offhand or like secondary for some backstab damage. It's a little bit less than uh, bandit's dagger. But still, it uh, it's, it's decent. I, I like it. Always liked it. It's, um, <laughs> it's not unusable, uh, but it's uh, it's not that good, you know. So that's why it's said here. <laughs> but yeah, there's better options. Yeah, just a little bit of uh, refreshment. Uh, black hand, black hand is a. You know why? It is swag. You can use it in both hands. You can steal humanity. Um, like not the best uh, defensive stats as a shield, but you know the swag points alone make up for it. So it's a definite A tier. Almost like wanna put it as A tier because it's very light. So if like you're running low on that uh, weight and trying to maximize it yeah uh, it's a good option if your enemy uses magic or other things because it can block 80 percent of anything so i think it's as an s tier item it has uh, it's just so much of utility with so little weight but stability is not very strong but still swag point uh, swag, swag points and uh, dark raid uh, sword dark sword whatever it's called uh, i'm gonna give it b uh, it's a little bit better just uh, as a, it's as good as a long sword like it's decent damage it's decent range a lot of swag points cannot give it a tier because it's, you know uh, this option is a little bit stronger but uh, well you know yeah, they just some movesets are a little bit uh, too open and uh, it's not that impressive damage-wise. Uh, 
Moonlight Bow, whatever that uh, queer Gwendolyn Bow, or uh, whatever. Uh, it's it's a B. It's like it's very fast and uh, for a specific build, it's uh, it's useful and it's light and weight and it looks very nice. I'm gonna give it B tier. Okay, now this is the Copper Demon's Great Sword, and this baby does damage. It's very strong uh, Ultra Great Sword. Uh, one minus it weights uh, a freaking ton, but uh, still, still, uh, definitely like the using it. But I cannot give it S tier because its weight is just so much. But it is like a very damaging one. I think it's the most damaging great sword, and you can buff it as well. I've definitely one shot people with on a repost with this one. So I think one shot uh, item, uh, I have to give it S. And now it's the uh, great hammer you get from killing the uh, entry boss, or you can uh, get the from new game plus. Uh, Demon's Great Hammer. Uh, he, it has amazing stats, but it is so heavy. You need like really specific build to use it. That uh, it's very hard to use it. But you can definitely one shot people with uh, this uh, damn big boy. Uh, just like with Demon Great Axe, but Demon Great Axe is way lighter and it has a better range and better moveset so I got to give it S tier because that's one another like strength item that can just one shot people with the hornet's wing and that's why it is S tier very strong fucking item just like demon spear uh, the longest spear in the game does split damage so you can tear through shields uh, just, just for chipping people away, it's a nice utility, low weight, and that's why I have to give it S. Okay, Dragon's Fist, I believe, uh, for moveset and meme potential alone, I give it A. Always fun to see, I lost this one, and it was amazing, uh, but it's definitely not an AS tier weapon, because it, um, yeah, it's, it's weak, it's weak. Uh, Okay, now it's Dragon's uh, Tails Ultra Great Sword, which again is so heavy and uh, damage wise is worse than Capra Demon Sword, and that's why I have to give it actually B. Well, actually, it's it has that slam attack now that I think about it, <laughs> and for that slam attack, again, give it A, just like with this. Uh, Dragon's Tail, a Great Hammer Sword, whatever its name is, I'm gonna still give it A because they have amazing second move sets that just completely obliterates the ground. But they are like very intensive, stat heavy to use, like weight and so on. So I cannot give them S tier. Uh, definitely cannot. Uh, Dragon Slayer Spear. Uh, it's uh, it's very heavy, and that's but it's another very long spear, and that's why I have to give it A, it's because spears are just OP in Dark Souls, in general, in all the games, uh, PvP-wise, especially the ones when there is no poise. At least Dark Souls, you could backstab people or when they're like uh, attacking you with this spear. But uh, newer Dark Souls, I really did not enjoy that because I had to adapt to new strategies. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, Dragon Tooth is the Havel's favorite item, and uh, yeah, it's, it's not that heavy. Uh, it has decent move set, does a lot of damage. You can actually buff it. I'm sure you can buff it, or you can at least glitch buff it. So I'm gonna give it another S. Uh, Dragon Slayer Bow. Okay, it's great bow, it's slow, but I like damage it does and I like the effects it does. Even if you hit the shield, it still staggers an opponent for enough time for you to recover. Even at the close range, so I like it. There's some nice archer beards you can do. 
So I'm gonna give it definite B tier just for mean potential. Uh, Drake sword, uh, yeah, just uh, there's our very better uh, swords. That's all. And that's all I wanna say. So I'm gonna give it that tier. Just you don't know, wanna really use this one. I'm just you cannot. Yeah, just that's that's enough for me. Of you, Drake sword, that's enough. Uh, a stock, a stock is an A tier item. Uh, it has decent backstab damage, very light. You can use it behind the shield. Uh, yeah, it has a little bit uh, different. Has some good move sets. It's very usable. It's very fun to use, even as a uh, utility uh, secondary. So I'm gonna still give it A. Okay, Falchion. <laughs> Uh, Fetchon, like, alone, it's like a B tier item, it's very fast, you can just spam your opponent and win some time, but with a buff, it's an S tier, <laughs> we all seen those uh, moon guys, blue guys coming into your game and just giving the blue shiny light on their blade and just two handing them and just running straight at you, so you know it's an S tier. You know it's a nice tier item. <laughs> uh, just because of the buff that alone it's C tier, it's just um, C B tier, it's decent, but uh, and I don't know this is invisible item uh, and uh, D tier so because it's invisible. <laughs> Moving on, uh Flamberge. Flamberge uh, is an A tier item. It's very strong, uh, great sword has nice moveset, does bleed damage, uh, oh, like decent stats, uh, does not wait a lot. I'm even gonna give it S tier because it just it just is a solid uh, great sword item. Uh, Gargoyle's halberd is underrated <laughs> so much. I don't know why. I, I use this bad boy. I've been so many fights. Uh, S tier. Amazing range, good move set, move set, fun to use. Uh, S tier. Uh, unlike Gargoyle's tail axe, uh, which is just B, like, like ev even I wanna put it in C tier, but it's longer than Battle Axe, and uh, it has some cool animations, so some swag points. I'm gonna give it. Uh, B. Is this the ghost dagger? <laughs> okay, okay, uh, I think I had this in my offhand. Uh, it's just an utility item. It's just usable. Same as dagger. Okay, this is giant halberd. And giant halberd uh, uh, is so heavy and does so little damage. It's rarely used and uh, when it's used it just... Uh, not that impressive, so I'm gonna give it D, and I'm gonna give myself a refreshment. I love water. There's nothing better than water. Uh, but maybe some. Where's my music? Okay, it's loading. My music is loading. We're getting some epic sounds. I wanted to use the OSTs of uh, Dark Souls, but uh, sadly I could not, so it's alright. Alright, Golem's X. Golem's X is a decent item. Like, I don't know what they're gonna tell you, but uh, it does damage. It's like a very solid like item. Like, has a cool mob set, he has like swag points, a little bit heavy. So, because of that heaviness, I'm gonna give it A, but it's still very usable. Very usable and very fun to use. Uh, Grant. Next one is Grant. Uh, Grant has some bad critical damage, but it has a walk as your secondary uh, attack. And it's Leroy's. A weapon of choice and Leroy is a, a legend and there's no one better than Leroy all you sun bros can fight me on that oh, all right uh, gr gr grave uh, curved grave greatsword 
uh, it does poison damage it has a different little bit more set uh, but as a curved a great sword it a little bit uh, falls short and I have to give it B you cannot buff it uh, it's not that impressive um, and yeah uh, that's it though has a lot of swag points I have to give it that but then again like uh, is it very useful in PvP? You know, that's that's the main that's the main goal of this. So, uh, and this one, I used a little bit in PvP, but it usually gets out damaged. So I, I like, and for curved great swords, there are some better options that you're gonna see later on uh, that are just better than this miasma spreading sword, even though he is very cool. But I feel just damage is a little bit low. And I sadly have it to give it B. Uh -huh. And now it's the uh, the great club. There's like two great clubs like this. Uh, this is just great this is just great club, yeah. Uh, great club is an actual city. Uh, because it's very heavy, it does not have that good of stats. It has some good base stats, but scaling is worse than the move set is not good. And uh, yeah, they're just great hammers that are a little bit better at doing like great hammer stuff, even golem's axe. Um, so yeah, I don't see it a lot, and it's definitely not the first pick of anybody. So. I have to give it cyst because it's still usable. Just neither popular nor that effective. Uh, all right, and the next one is the green sword. Uh, as a great sword, is a little bit uh, on the short side and he has a little bit bad move move set, uh, and is heavy, uh, and you cannot buff it with fire, so it's definitely beat here. Almost sit here, but like it's still better than Bastard Sword. And if you cosplay, like which I did a lot, uh, it's still fun. It's still fun, but uh, uh, not my first weapon of choice for a uh, great sword. Uh, Skite, Skit, Skite, whatever it is, uh, is an amazing actually PvP weapon. Uh, very fast, does uh, a lot of damage, does bleeding. Uh, it's very fun to use and yeah I just have to give it S tier it's just an amazing overall weapon and uh, yeah more people uh, should use it uh, next one is uh, great X just great X and this bad boy it is decent <laughs> it's definitely decent uh, I even wanna put it at S tier because it's not that heavy and it has like a lot of damage. Hmm. But it's a little bit short and it does not one shot so uh but it's still a decent uh PvP item I found. I was able to like um, win fights with this so uh I like it, it stun locks uh, and it's deceptively fast. Okay, Artorias great swords are just uh, memes. <laughs> are just memes. I'm just gonna be put them at C level. I'll just let's give it. Uh, I wanna D, give D for dog, but uh, it's just B. It's like a green sword. I'm just it's usable, but not that impressive. So yeah. I'm thinking about maybe great X as well, but great X is just overall good. You cannot be you cannot be mad at great X. Uh, next one is great sword. Mm, from all the great, ultra great swords, great sword is very long and has that trust attack. Uh, but it's like a little bit fall short, and I, I'm not sure even why. I think it's because you have like such fierce competitors. You have Kappa's Great Sword, you have Dragon's Great Sword, you have Ult Ultra Black Knight's Great Sword, which like even Black Knight's Great Sword just looks better. 
so I have to give it just a um, B, like just usable, but there's nothing special about it. Uh, it's a little bit heavy and yeah, just damage is not that impressive. Uh, and it kind of makes me sad because it looks cool. It does look cool, and I wish it is a little bit uh, better. But uh, uh, Halbert is a uh, low key, uh, very strong uh, item, very fast, stun box, good moves, move set. Uh, looks very, looks good on any character. Just very solid all around. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it uh, S. Uh, it's just good. It's just good. And next one is the like that underground blacksmith's uh, hammer. It's just dead here. There's better clubs in the game. I think it has split fire damage, but uh, nothing impressive. Uh, hand axe. Uh, hand axe is actually decent. It's like a falchion. Uh, I'll put Falchion in S tier, I'm gonna give Hand X B tier, it's very fast, it's a little bit underrated and uh, very useful, so very light uh, on weight, uh, so I'm gonna give it B. Uh, heavy crossbow, mm, D, you're just too heavy. Alright, uh, another another katana and I'm gonna give it A, as an Odachi I believe, uh, or whatever, Kimura does not matter, katana, katana goes in A, just solid as another katana, this one I think has like a wider swing, so it's, it's, it has its niche, uh, jagged blade sword, jagged blade dagger, jagged ghost dagger, <laughs> uh, whatever its name, uh, it's it here, it's not, not unusable, I made it work, it's just not impressive, uh, large club, large club, is an S tier. It is light. It does poison damage. Has an amazing move set. Is fast, and uh, yeah, yeah, catches p opponents off guard. Uh, solid, solid S tier, like solid S tier. Uh, now that I think maybe I should bring like tennis too, but. Like this, this S tier item is just uh, either like how like really amazing move movesets, uh, like amazing overall damage weight ratios, does good backstab damage or has like like fetch and some really amazing utility. So uh, that's how I rate uh, trying to rate was the best because here you can win with any weapon. You can probably take broken hill to put like a OP buff on it and like go at it and win. But it's just that the falchion is gonna be faster, or with the katana. Uh, so yeah, and a live live hunt skid, skid. Uh, it's a little bit worse than skid. It does have better uh, bl bleeding damage, but it has lesser range, and you risk bleeding out as well. But for swag points and for Priscilla, I give it a uh, crossbow. Uh, just a regular crossbow is C. It's better than heavy crossbow. I've seen it work. So I'm gonna give it C because you can make it work. Uh, let's uh, zoom out a little bit and get another sip of uh, delicious water. Uh, water is yes, delicious. Uh, all right, another bow, and I'm gonna give, uh, just give it um, C tier, you know, fast bow, mm, like nothing. I'm actually gonna give it D because composite is C. This like a little bit slower bow. Uh, so yeah, a long sword. You're gonna be mad at me, but I'm gonna give it A. <laughs> uh, why? It's fast, decent damage, decent moveset. Fine, I give it B because BSS is better. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's why it's B. A little bit even on the C side, but it's better than broadsword. Uh, pick is a B item. It's kind of slow and kind of bad. 
but with the Leo Ring it does a lot of damage. Uh, so I'm gonna give it uh, a definite B. Uh, then Mace, another, another solid B item, something that you can make work. Uh, and for actually for Morningstar, let's skip a little bit ahead and I'm gonna give it A. Uh, was my favorite uh, like Mace of choice. Uh, and it's decent, you can make it work at close range, it has decent speed, you just have to, uh, I don't know how to use it, know when to use it, uh, so I'm gonna give it A because it is, is usable. Uh, ma mail breaker, mail breaker, uh, uh, it has an extra pair animation and was using it for pairing, so a decent utility item, you can see it now and then. Not bad. I like it. I like it. Alright, let's a little bit move this up. Uh, Man Serpent uh, Great Sword is an S tier Great Sword for strength builds. It uh, did an amazing amount of damage. It looked really cool while backstabbing or reposting. Uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna give it just S tier. It's just a very solid item. And then uh, moon uh, butterflies, moonlight butterfly spear. I'm gonna give it uh, uh, actually B tier because it's not that useful, does not do that a lot of damage. Even I'm gonna give it to C tier because its damage compared to some other spears is just atrocious. Oh, and the split damage uh, does not help it at all. Uh, moonlight greatsword. Uh, amazing Air 2 uh, ignores some of the shields just completely. If your enemy does not have any magic resistance of the shield, you just do through damage <laughs> uh, and always fun to see. Uh, looks good, uh, it's very fun to use, it's very solid. Uh, great swords are very good in this game in PvP, so I'm gonna give them S tier. Uh, okay, Mur Muramasa, uh, Murakuma. Murakama Curved Greatsword is an S tier. This one, uh, this baby does a lot of damage. Uh, it has an amazing phantom range and uh, it's just very solid. And so, yeah, I'm gonna give it S. Okay, whip. Uh, okay, whip. I'm gonna give it B tier because it's fun. It ignores shields and uh, does not do a lot of damage. Uh, can be useful as an offhand as well to finish off opponents and does bleeding. So, uh, I see it as being useful. Uh, okay, ser Servant's, uh, Servant's Falchion, whatever this Servant's Sword, uh, those mask guys from Painted Ward, uh, next to Painted Ward used. Uh, is a, is a, an actual, this is an actual Falchion and it's a decent, it's a decent Falchion. I'm just gonna give it a, like it's, um, I'm just gonna give both Falchions a, that would be a little bit more fair. Yeah, uh, wait, this is mail breaker, then what is this? <laughs> uh, this maybe this is spirit dagger and this mail breaker. Uh, I'm gonna give them both, like, I'm gonna give them B tier. And they have some critical damage, so they're fine. Uh, spear is uh, kind of useless, uh, so... It's very short, so there's way better options. There's no point in using this spear. Uh, pickaxe. Pickaxe is solid. I'm even gonna give it B tier. Because it's just solid um, mace. Like uh, with Leo Ring, it does a lot of damage, stun locks. So, yeah, is this a pike? If this is a pike, uh, pike is A. Pike is very long and does good damage. So, uh, this is Priscilla's Dagger or Dark Tracer. I believe this is Priscilla's Dagger. Does not have a lot of use. I'm gonna put them the same way in with other daggers in C. Uh, this is Quailax Fury Sword. Uh, some gonna be mad at me, but I'm gonna give it C. Uh, I feel like other fashions are better. 
because you can buff them with better buffs unlike a uh, Kulak sword that has split damage so in PvP you, it's not that bad but uh, I think uh, I think B maybe no, I think uh, still like it's like a little bit C tier uh, can be made work but actually like I've lost to this weapon many times so <laughs> I'm gonna give you B tier because it's definitely usable and uh, does have a lot of damage so let's um, yeah let's continue I think just oh yeah a few more weapons left so uh, um, I'm very glad uh, let's finish this up uh, always want to make this uh, tier list uh, after playing so much time you just uh, yeah you have a lot of information and express it and yeah and next one is rapier rapier is an s tier uh, it has low weight and it does like 1000 almost uh, critical damage so like i used it a lot a lot it just uh, it was my first pick like where s stock falls that it's uh where s stock falls and it's like critical damage rapier just exceeds even though it's a little bit shorter but i think rapier was an amazing pick uh, club, uh, spiked club, just seem decent, just decent, has some good damage, cannot uh, tell anything about it. Uh, Rickard's Rapier, I'm gonna give it a, its crit damage is lower, but you can buff it with a nice buff and make it OP because you have that constant stabbing, so I've seen uh, some uh, crazy builds with that. Uh, Skimitar is just another falchion, and falchions are amazing. Okay, this is Bardish, and Bardish, uh, same as Gargoyles, uh, Halbert, very underrated, uh, very strong item, like good love set, uh, I think even better damage than Gargoyle, might be wrong. Uh, server uh, server uh, heals you on every hit, uh, is a nice ultra curved greatsword but its range is so bad uh, I keep missing and uh, you know the damage is not that impressive okay another another bow uh, I'm gonna give you another bow just I did here I think this one is uh, fast not sure so, okay fine let's give it I think this one was a little bit faster one it's gonna give the C tier uh, this is short sword uh, I don't use short sword <laughs> Uh, shot tail, uh, another A tier item, very fast. Uh, you can uh, buff it, it's fast as a falchion and it ignores blocks. So it's uh, actually has um, like quite a few uses. So it's definitely A tier. Uh, this is Silver Knight Spear <laughs> and uh, it is solid, uh, it is very solid spear. I think it's as, almost as long. And it uh, has very good damage, so I'm gonna give it S actually. Okay, this is Sunlight Sword. I believe this is Sunlight Sword, and. No, Sunlight Sword is this one, like Sunbro Sword. Let's give it a uh, one of the best long swords, like hands down. Uh, this is Silver Knight Sword, yeah. Alright, Silver Knight Sword is a little bit heavy and damage wise not that impressive but still quite usable and that's why it'd be. Uh, but yeah, Astora's Sword, uh, like Sunbrow Sword, uh, it's just overall good, it uh, ha has decent reach and good damage. So, uh, okay, so next one is this bow, uh, crossbow, I'm gonna give it D because we don't care about crossbows usually uh, not very popular not very uh, safe and can be usable but I don't see that often a small great hammer and this bad boy just gives so much intimidation <laughs> and just is so cool it's a definite S tier you know you swagging with this one it takes a lot of stats it takes a lot of effort to make a build work but damn are you cool and it has like a little bit of lifesteal on every attack 
So that uh, can sometimes win you games. Uh, another one is a spear. This is another spear. I think it's another pike. I don't like them. Let's give it this because you don't like spears. Let's give, I'm gonna give it C. Uh, stone guardians, great sword. Damage wise, it's shitty sword. It's very heavy, but it has uh, tranquility of peace, making everybody not able to run and dodge and move properly. So it's an S tier because it's a uh, cheap and uh, cheap uh, broken item. Uh, so yeah, another another broken hilt uh, going to D. Uh, now this is the uh, like those stone guardian uh, sword. I had a build for the sword. It's 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 fun. It's just fun. It's not very good or usable. Uh, so I have what to give it B. Uh, this might be the dark Athena. I'm gonna give Dark Katana S tier, best Katana or whatever. Was the Demon's Katana? What was the Quelux uh, sword name? Let me quickly check. Uh, I think it's okay. Katanas and what is this Katana? Which Katana? Okay, Chaos Blade. Yeah, there was Chaos Blade, Yato, and Washing Pole. Uh, so Chaos Blade is S. This washing pole, I think this is washing pole, and uh, I love washing pole. Uh, bad thing about washing pole, you can get roll backstab into washing pole, so I'm gonna give it a tier. But Kios blade, uh, best katana, and has five points. Uh, well, carry rapier is for uh, cosplays, but as a rapier, it's actually like C tier. Split damage makes your damage basically nothing like so. Uh, war pick uh, is it's fine. War pick is usable like just any other mace, and with a leer ring you can do some damage. Whip is just a C uh, because we yeah this notched whip is way better. Uh, winged spear is fine, but there are way better spears to use. And the last one, but not least, is a uh, Swaghander. I think a fan favorite. Uh, everybody knew the memes. Everybody loved the memes. Swaghander is the best hander. <sighs> Alright, so let's a little bit zoom in and a quick recap. So most of the items on the top tier are popular, very usable. I think very have a lot of potential like uh, not to say that these a tiers are lower some of these s tiers are just winning by style alone like this black knight great axe and halberd as well as these copper demons because they are very heavy but like these dragon items could go into like s tier as well as great axe but i'm gonna keep them at a tier because um, they are decent but they're, they're a little bit niche they are are like more of a one trick pony almost whereas this s tier ranks well like <laughs> uh, well evelyn is just a one trick pony uh, but uh, yeah this item just do more damage just do more damage well not fully but they are like stat wise weight wise are very good and they have a lot of swag points unlike this one's a little bit start losing swag points, you know, like Golem's axe. Um, he still has swag points, but then Gargoyle's axe already like you know, um, losing. Black Knight, great sword. Uh, well, you know what? I'm gonna give it a day, you know, because it's it's has a lot of swag points, just like Hammer, it definitely a tier. Like fine, let's give it the Grave Digger, because it's, sti it's still it's still doable. It's still like has a lot of swag points to them, so. I'm gonna leave them here, very usable, saw them quite often, and these are like more questionable picks, even though longsword uh, maze are amazing, I'm actually gonna put uh, longsword in A tier, because it's actually like really good pick, it's like 
nobody expects it. Actually, a star sword is better, so I'm gonna put it out. It's B tier because a star sword is better. Yeah, and here katanas are just A, and all the factions are the the good are just good. No, no, no doubt about it. This is a little bit slower items and like just weaker items and D. Yeah, just slow, bad items. And uh, uh, yeah, with this I think I'm gonna be uh, concluding. It's been almost an hour. Uh, well, like whenever I do this, I don't even notice time, like really, to be honest. I just focus, I have so many memories, like about these items, uh, and I just enjoy them. And I hope you enjoy this, so if you like it, subscribe it, like it, you know what to do, see ya.